Well, I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by uh, Adrian Gelb from uh, UCSF. Uh, Adrian, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us today. My pleasure. Now, we're here to talk about uh, ketamine. So could you give us a, a little bit of a, a background on, on its use? So ketamine has uh, been available since the 1970s. Initially, it uh, was welcomed with a lot of enthusiasm because it produces unconsciousness, produces analgesia, it does not, unlike many other anesthetics, uh, eliminate airway reflexes. So patients tend to breathe uh, very well, it doesn't depress respiration. The problem that emerged is about 15% of patients hallucinate with the drug. And so it sort of dropped from common use as an induction agent. And then after a quiescent period of about 25 years, it has re-emerged into practice both in low, middle and high income countries. How important is it in uh, lower and middle income countries? It, in low and middle income countries, it is the dominant anesthetic agent. And we estimate, WHO estimate, uh, are that it accounts for about 70% of all anesthetics in low income countries. So hugely important for the reasons that I outlined. It's uh, safety, it's analgesia, unconsciousness. But there are some who, who want to regulate uh, ketamine, why is that? The hallucinatory effects uh, are appealing to some uh, out on, on the street and ketamine over the last decade has emerged as uh, the most popular uh, dance club drug in China and surrounding countries, Thailand, uh, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. And so China sees that as part of their uh, regional leadership that they would like to see ketamine eliminated. And what they've uh, pushed very hard for is a global scheduling of ketamine as a Schedule I drug. Schedule I drugs have no medical use. So they've really gone at it in a very aggressive fashion. And what effect would that have in the global health community? We estimate that it would have an immediate impact on about 20 to 22 million surgeries not taking place, uh, which would be a global humanitarian catastrophe. What would you like to see happen? I'd like to see uh, that China and the surrounding countries deal with their street drug problem as an internal issue, which is what every other country does. And that in terms of the scheduling, the regulation, that that be left to each country to do for themselves as they see appropriate. And that the uh, ketamine as a medication should remain easily available, especially in low and middle income countries. Well, thank you very much indeed for talking to us today. We really appreciate that. Thank My you. pleasure.